Hey there folks, I'm Joshua Oral, the Mustang Prince, and welcome to Mustang Prince Oral Reports. What can you say about Mother's Day? Well, it is a celebration honoring the mother of the family, as well as motherhood, maternal bonds, and the influence of mothers in society. But, nowadays, to me, Mother's Day gets very frustrating when trying to find something very special to give my mom every year. Usually, I always get her the same thing, whether being flowers or jewelry, and it's starting to get very predictable. Because sometimes, I think to myself, what better way to celebrate Mother's Day than, to, than just be there and spend time with her, rather than giving her things? Anyway, the last few blogs I made for the Mother's Day weekend was Pixar's Oscar champion Brave during my second season. And during my third season, no thanks to my deceased evil twin, I blogged the movie that destroyed Image Movers Digital, Mars Needs Moms. But, unfortunately, last year I didn't blog anything for Mother's Day because, well... You know why. But this year, I want to blog something really special that focuses on this motherly holiday. And I think I know just the movie to blog. So let's get started. Released on April 29th, 2016, the movie is Mother's Day. Now, let's get started. This movie follows the lives of different mothers on Mother's Day. Sandy is happily divorced until she finds out her ex-husband eloped with a much younger woman. Now she must learn to deal with big changes in her life as her two boys now have a stepmom. Sisters Jessie and Gabby get an unexpected surprise from their mom, who is not really happy to find out that Gabby is a lesbian, and Jessie is married to a man of color. Miranda doesn't have any kids and is focusing on her career. Kristen is enjoying life as a new mom, but is feeling pressure from her boyfriend to get married. And Bradley is trying hard to be the best parent for his two girls since their mom passed away a year prior. However, his idea of Mother's Day is pretending it doesn't exist at all. So, what do I think? Well... To me, this was a really sweet and heartwarming movie. I don't care if this movie was ever panned, because this is a good film to watch for the Mother's Day weekend. But, before I get ahead of myself, let's move on to Mustang Notes. In April 2013, Dennis Dugan confirmed that he would next develop Gary Marshall's comedy film, Mother's Day. Sadly... This was the final film of Marshall's career prior to his death in July 2016. The film was scripted by Anya Kochoff Romano and Lily Hollander. Brant Anderson produced, along with Wayne Rice and Mike Kars. On July 22, 2015, Open Road Films acquired U.S. distribution rights to the movie, and it was revealed that Matt Walker and Tom Hines would co-write the script. Principal photography on the movie began on August 18, 2015 in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, unlike the last two holiday romances that Gary Marshall has directed, like Valentine's Day or New Year's Eve, which both took place during one day, this movie is a four-day long story meaning it takes place during the Mother's Day weekend. Now, to me, it's very interesting seeing Mother's Day through the characters' perspectives. I also like the certain things that happen during the movie. To me, there are very creative ways to celebrate Mother's Day, like having a picnic, singing together, playing games, and other things. Plus, they give me inspiration to try these things in the following year. However, there are some things that are a bit mature, one of these things being gayness. 
Now, on to the cast. Now, let's start with Sandy Newhouse, played by Jennifer Aniston, whom I remember from The Iron Giant, Storks, and We're the Millers. Now, as mentioned earlier, Sandy is a divorced mom of two young boys whose ex-husband is married to a 20-year-old dancer. And now, Sandy is feeling frustrated about her sons having to celebrate Mother's Day with two moms. Next is Jessie, played by Kate Hudson, who I only know from Kung Fu Panda 3. Jessie supports her gay sister Gabby, along with her partner Max, along with two other characters in the movie, but at the same time, Jessie is keeping secrets from her Indian husband, and of course, from her parents as well. We also have Miranda Collins, played by Julia Roberts, who got to be in Valentine's Day, Charlotte's Web, and just recently, Smurfs, The Lost Village. Miranda is an accomplished writer who gave up her only child for adoption at birth. Throughout this movie, she's been advertising mood necklaces and bracelets. But I also think it's very sweet that she's been receiving pictures of her daughter each year. Next up is Bradley Barton, played by Jason Sudeikis, who got to be in Blue Sky's Epic, and of course that stupid Angry Birds movie. Bradley is a widowed father of two girls whose wife passed away a year prior. We learn that Bradley works at a 24-7 workout studio and is a soccer coach. Sometimes he's been watching memory videos that feature his late wife. And of course, he's been feeling unsure about his older daughter Rachel's relationship with her boyfriend. The last character I need to talk about is Kristen, played by Britt Robertson. She's Miranda's daughter, whom I mentioned earlier was left for adoption. In this film, Kristen prepares herself for marriage to her comedian boyfriend. Also, in my opinion, her baby daughter Katie is absolutely precious. The rest of the cast includes Robert Pine, Jennifer Gardner, John Lovitz, Timothy Olymphat, Jack Whitehall, Hector Elonzondo, and Margot Martindale. And now let's move on to my final words. Overall, Mother's Day is a decent film. Not perfect, though. But the characters from the mothers, the fathers, and their children are very relatable. Their stories are interesting and very touching, even if some parts are a tad inappropriate. Plus, this film does give a nice message about celebrating this beloved motherly holiday. And in the end... This film will make you shed a tear of joy. As for my final rating, I'll give this film a 71% out of 100. Well, that's it for today, everybody. Be sure to join me again for my next blog. Because, I think next, it'll be time to go back to Kingdom Hearts again. Mustang Power. Oh, and Happy Mother's Day, everybody. My love and my here ever after is all that she says that she